Hello Internet, welcome back to Cataclysm, our tutorial series. Last episode we cleared some prisoner containment. Um, I cracked open this door just to fool with the turret a little bit. We're going to shut this. Again, there's no reason for us to go fight that turret. Um, and you know what I wasn't thinking about? We were still dazed, probably. So our uh, ability to shoot that turret was hampered. But we're going to head to the left here because we've already kind of cleared this side of the building. So there's really nothing for us over here. Why don't we go back to the core room here uh, that we came down in, check the other exits. So we are, are close to where we would go upstairs because we're still carrying this jackhammer. Um, and so we're not going to be able to fill our inventory the way we normally would because of the space that takes up. Light followed by another closed section. I don't know what this would be, but we'll check it out. Just a bunch of terminals. Again, great for if you're looking for miscellaneous um, electronic supplies. What are you? Library. Very good. Uh, library is definitely, definitely something we want. In fact, I'm going to head upstairs immediately. Um, well, we might as well check the vending machines. We uh, have been talking about how we don't have the books that we kind of would like to have. And I was going to do an episode where we just talked about why that's such an issue and where we would go to remedy that. Um, but I ultimately decided against that and I figured we'd wait until we found some things. And here we finally found... Uh, I don't really... Fruit juice, rot, herbal tea, definitely take... I'll take some lemonade. Oh. Apparently we don't have space for it. why why is it dropping things on the ground? I don't like that. I don't like stop changing things. I like things the way they are. Stop changing things. Let's go up. We're gonna recharge. You can go ahead and shut off the flashlight. I'm gonna recharge our jackhammer so we can get in a library. Yeah, ultimately, uh, schools, libraries, bookstores, very, very important at this stage of the game. It's really important that we start getting more books um, because we need access to a lot of recipes. Let's go ahead and drop pretty much all this that we don't need. We'll keep the book of first aid. Don't need all this. Keep the jackhammer. Go ahead and drop the jackhammer in the charger. Turn this on. Uh, turn on recharger. Turn on engine. And we'll pop out here. We'll read. Oh, you know what? We're hungry. We're thirsty. We're tired. I don't really want to sleep at the moment. Uh, where's my... Where are my beverages? Uh, water. Clean water. Great. Uh, we'll pop out here. We'll read while this recharges. Oh, don't walk through exhaust. It's not good for your lungs. We'll just read while our uh, thing recharges here. Um, and we're going to go crack the library. Now, the, the more books you have, the more recipes you're going to be having access to. And not only that, but books are the most... The, the quickest, most reliable way to raise your skills. So like currently we're raising our first aid skill. Um, it's just so much faster to read that than it is to craft and use first aid. This will do. We only need one to get in the uh, library. Unlike the prisoner containment and the barracks where we need multiple um, jackhammering attempts. We only need the one to get in the library. So we'll grab the jackhammer. Again, jackhammer is a bummer because we have to go down, jackhammer the wall, and then we're going to want to pick up books, but the jackhammer takes up so much space in our inventory that we really can't take the books with us. So we're going to head down here because we, we just don't have space for them. So head up here, jackhammer in, um, go ahead and smash this terminal, okay, so we don't have the light right there. Uh, on the off chance that we open this up and there's something right inside the door. Libraries generally are empty, if I remember right. So we'll pickaxe through the wall here, or the door rather. Um, so there shouldn't be turrets in here. There shouldn't be enemies in here. It should just be room full of books, basically. Turn on a flashlight. We will be careful, of course, because you never know. But it's looking pretty clear. That's right, they have vending machines in here as well. Should have checked at the shelf instead of walking in front of it. The west and below you hear whack. Well, that's below me, so I'm not super concerned. We will check the rooms. A uh, little bathroom, I believe. And then, like, there should be books in here, like a little conference area again. Okay, so it's clear. Uh, 
This is the library. It's just shelves with books. A little lackluster from what I'm seeing. The last time I was here, I found more books than this. There's a good chance that some of these are not books we have, unfortunately. Uh, oh, Physician's Desk Reference. That must be a new book as well. Never seen that before. Okay. Um, check just some candy, some vending machines. Uh, we'll take nothing out of there. Grab the tea. Many bottles of tea is really nice. Grab the lemonade, I guess. Everything else can stay. Stop dropping everything on the floor. Okay. Let's check these books. Computer Science 101. Great. Raises computers. Uh, Bowyer's Buddy. We already have this, but we'll take it because I like to take duplicates. How to Succeed in Business. We don't need Dungeon Master's Guide. Not good. These are not good books. How to Trap Anything. Not good books. What we're looking for are high-tier fab books. Advanced Electronics is a good book to have. Knife Fighter's Notes. Don't care at all. Chemistry textbook we already have. Biodiesel uh, is fine, but we don't really care that much. What's transistor we have? How to browse the web uh, is like computers to one, I think. Engineering 301, good book to have. Physician's desk reference, don't really know what this does. Presumably raises our first aid. Really, really, really not good library. In fact, this lab so far, as much as you might be watching this and thinking, man, we're getting a lot of stuff, We've gotten pretty garbage rolls on everything. So like the, the two barracks we've been in just don't don't really have very much ammunition in them. The library we've been in doesn't really have the books we're looking for. The uh, scientist zombies we've been killing haven't really been giving us any CBMs. So uh, although we found a lot of books that we did not have, most of these don't mean anything to me. Dungeons and Master Guide, How to Browse the Web, how to Trap Anything, Computer Science 101. I mean, Computer Science is okay. But like the Dungeon Master's Guide is meaningless. Uh, browsing the Web, meaningless. Uh, Knife Fighter's Notes, don't care at all. Like most of these are not good. What we're looking for at this point, specifically what I'm looking for is the Armor Smithing Book, the Weapon Smithing Book, uh, maybe like Japanese Sword Making or something. We're looking for the books that are, require a very high fabrication but have armor recipes. That's mostly what I'm looking for right now. Now we're getting to the point in the game where we could just raise our fab or our tailoring a few levels and get chitin armor. But I really was hoping to just jump to metal armor, which would require a, a certain books and then a higher level fabrication, like a level nine fabrication. But we, we haven't found any of those books. Uh, and this is like a really good place to find those fab books. So I'm really disappointed Okay, so we got this message a lot the other day, and I was pressing spacebar, and then a bunch of people commented and were like, just press I, dummy. Like, press I, forehead, because then you ignore all other messages that this will pop up as instead of just pressing spacebar and skipping one. So that occurred because I'm guessing that zombie down there destroyed something, and apparently when things get destroyed, that, that uh, message pops up. So really disappointed in that lab uh, barracks, or uh, lab library rather. The best thing we got, probably advanced electronics, engineering 301, maybe. I, 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 don't, I don't really care about either of them at the moment. Biodiesel, again, not something we're probably gonna be doing in this, ep in this series, but it exists and some people would probably be really happy to find it, but I am not one of those people. Why don't we uh, take ourselves to bed here? It's nighttime. Why not? Go ahead and drop our books, drop our drinks, drop the old jackhammer up here. Yeah, not super thrilled with what we've been finding in this lab. Honestly, the best thing we've found at this point. Uh, wear the headgear, please. Um, and we will go to sleep here. Uh, we're peckish, but we'll be okay. Don't set the alarm. Oh, heard a gunshot. That's cool. Yeah, um, the best thing we found is the ammunition from the turrets we've killed, honestly. Which is great, don't get me wrong. Opens up a lot of gunplay in our future instead of doing everything in melee. But, you know, and I, I guess I don't even know what I'm looking for, really. I won't know it until I see it. But usually when I come to the labs, I'm looking to collect bionics. Is one of the most important things to me. 
I don't really care about mutation. I don't really mutate in the game. I don't like mutation. So usually it's about finding CBMs, finding books, getting bullets, finding good guns in the barracks. And uh, yeah, mostly about CBMs, butchering the scientist zombies. Usually you'll find some of the advanced soldier zombies which have bionics in them. Um, there can be shockers in the lab. But uh, yeah, we've been, we've, we really have not been finding anything that really jumps out at me as like, man, I'm so glad we found this. The autoclave pouches are nice, but we still haven't found an autoclave. The anesthesia kit was nice, but they're pretty easy to find, honestly. And we could have just made our own if we found the right books. So it's like, how much value does it really have from exploring the lab? We haven't really found anything. So you'll see time is taking quite a long time to pass here. Um, this is because if we watch the time here, you'll see it's very slowly progressing. This is due to the, the lab um, because there are enemies in the lab and Cataclysm is simulating their movement and tracking their movement and stuff. And some of them are destroying things. Some of the turrets are shooting enemies. The game right now, my computer's making a lot of noise. Um, that's just because there's a lot to process at the moment. Time is passing and they're simulating all the, the world around us, essentially. So sleeping at labs can take a really long time. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Uh, so let's eat something. I would really like to go out hunting and find something like proper meat that we could put a lot of calories in our belly. We did shift to overweight, which is nice. I'd rather be overweight than underweight. Let's go ahead and drink some tea instead because tea will raise our health stat, which is probably not doing well because we've been eating some of those cracklins. Uh, definitely don't need the headgear anymore. So we'll dump the headgear. I don't know where to put this, we'll put it here. And uh, oh, and let's reload our gun while we're here. We never did find like a bigger, I, I don't think, if I remember right, there's no bigger Stanag mag. So the magazine we're currently using is a 30 round clip. I don't believe there is a larger clip for this particular gun. Um, there is a gun, there's a mod that adds larger clips, but there's no uh, drum mag for this particular gun at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little disappointed in the lab so far, to be honest. Let's head back down, continue clearing. Again, I know this gets a little bit boring when you watch multiple episodes in a row of someone just repeatedly clearing the lab, but there's so much potential here. Check every little thing. Grab the syringe when you see it. It's generally good to have at least a syringe, and uh, sometimes I forget to pick them up and then I get frustrated later. Here we have a uh, biohazard suit. Simple hazardous materials handling suit. Um, this is good if you know you're going to be like... No, I can't think of a situation where this is very good other than oh, highly irradiated areas. Let's uh, flash. I think this is more spiders. No, this is fungus again. Uh, I really... I don't know if it's dangerous to be around this or not. My shift key is not... Cooperate. No, I keep doing that. Stop that. Uh, shift, shift key is not cooperating. Uh, this is dangerous. Another portal. I don't want to mess with you, portal. Okay. Nothing really over here. Have we talked about this? If we pop this open, there's crates in here that you can open, but I, I really don't care about it very much. They generally don't have anything you can't find elsewhere. Just keep peeking here. I am being a little reckless as we move about. Um, dissector room. Good if you didn't have like a hacksaw, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm being, oh, autoclave. I'm being a little less cautious than I would normally be. Um, just because I don't care that much. It's the tutorial series. I've been safe scumming to test things anyway. So like, I'm not super concerned about it. In our casual playthrough, I'd be a lot more cautious. In our casual playthrough, I would never save scum. So this is an autoclave. So an autoclave is a tool that is used to sterilize bionics that you harvest from corpses. So when you harvest from a corpse, the CBM needs to be mended, which will cure the faulty tag. It needs to be cleaned with a sponge or whatever, which will change it from filthy 
uh, we'll remove the filthy tag and then it needs to be put in an autoclave where it will be given the sterile tag. And then once you've done all those things, you can install it into your body. So autoclaves are absolutely essential for installing CBMs because you will very often harvest CBMs from bodies um, and then you need to sterilize them. This is an enormous piece of material. This is 76 pounds and 76 liters. So it's extremely large. It's basically a big pressure cooker is essentially what this thing is, only it's specifically intended to sterilize tools and things for surgery. It requires, uh, as it says, a massive amount of power. And additionally, it will need a water source of some sort. We are going to install this into our vehicle. So we're definitely taking this. Uh, it is going to be a real pain to get up the stairs, but we'll have to hoof it all the way back. Um, and we'll take this upstairs immediately because we can't just carry this around with us. Uh, we will be installing this inside of our vehicle. We will be putting a tank on our vehicle so that we can uh, more easily... Where am I going? Up here. So we can more easily do this. Um, because of the massive power draw, it's not really feasible to use batteries with this. I believe if you have some of the... Uh, I don't know if they're in mods, but isn't there like a nuclear battery or something that can power this. Um, I would not recommend that. I would recommend putting it in a vehicle, but the power draw is immense. For instance, geez, if I'm, tr I'm trying to remember, I want to say it draws something like 80,000. Maybe it's 8,000. I don't remember. Um, but essentially, about, at least the amount of power that we currently have in our vehicle would be used up by the autoclave. So really important that you use a, a large vehicle for this. What's uh, what's on this tile? Nothing. Go ahead and drop this here. We really don't want to lose this. They're not rare or anything. You will find... I mean, I found three or four in the same lab before, but I have seen people online saying, I can't find one of these things. What do I do? Uh, and there's no way for you to manufacture one. So... It's really, really important that when you see it, you actually pick it up. Um, same with autoclave pouches. You know, it seems so simple. We found 50 autoclave pouches since we started exploring this uh, lab. But I've seen people say, hey, I can't find any. And uh, so it's really important that you pick them up as you go. Now, 25, they spawn in stacks of 25. That's a lot. That's plenty for a lot of CBM installation. Um, but really just grab them when you see them. There's no reason not to pick them up. They're very small. You can see me. Oh, that's a rare occasion where opening on the angle actually exposed us to the turret. Uh, very scary. Let's turn this off. It is not lit up. Let's uh, save again because of the danger associated with the turret. Okay, he can't see us. Uh, one, two, three. So he was like here. If we step over here, we'll be within range of him. So let's just see if we can blind fire in there and see what the uh, what the accuracy is. I pressed F and it didn't register, so I walked right in front of the turret. Definitely not good. Don't do that. F. Why is F not working? Oh, I'm not wielding the SIG. I gotcha. So we would be shooting right here. Yeah, the aim's not going to get high enough, so we're not going to bother with this. Go ahead and close this. Uh, we will mark this as a turret, just in case. Um, but of course, we will just avoid that room from now on. Oh, another closed area. We are hearing things to the north. Footsteps, so it's a zombie. Barracks. Okay, so... We talked about this. Uh, when you come to a barracks, one of the best things you can do is wait and listen. So here we're hearing footsteps, which means it's an actual creature that causes footsteps. Uh, probably a zombie, but possibly an, a large animal as well. We would hear crashing, most likely, if it were one of the large animals. But here we hear footsteps, so it's a creature. It's not a robot. If you wait and you don't hear anything, most likely there's nothing inside. Sometimes it will be robots and you're just not hearing them, but robots also occasionally make noise, so it just takes longer. So if you're waiting and waiting and waiting, you're not hearing anything, probably empty, but possibly a robot. Now, unfortunately, once again, we have to make a trip back upstairs 
and get our stupid jackhammer because we want to go in the barracks uh, and we're gonna just try try to handle this this is the first barracks we found right that's not open open in some capacity right because we we haven't cracked one open yet I don't think let's go up go get our, our jackhammer have we opened the barracks on our own? They've been open, right? They they were open when we went in. And I don't think either one we cleared, because I think we cleared two. I don't think either one had a turret in it. So this will be the first time that we're going to be dealing with the turret. Now again, for barracks, we actually need two charges of our jackhammer. One to get in the main doorway and one to get into the armory area. So we're going to turn on the engine, turn on the recharger can't stress to you how much I would like a freaking pickaxe. Someone did say that pickaxes are now auto-learned at Fab 7 or something. So we could just try to raise our Fab and, and make a pickaxe, but we don't have our forge. Actually, we'd have to go all the way back to base. So we're not doing that. So go ahead and give me the first aid again. And this is important because most likely what is inside... Oh, where's, uh, where's my book? Nope, can't type. First, yes, uh, because most likely the zombies that are in the barracks, there's a good chance there's at least one that has CBMs. So we really would like to raise our first aid so that we would have a higher chance of, uh, of us, you know, getting CBMs out of him. In fact, I'm tempted because of how things have been going. I'm tempted just to spend the day reading the first aid books that we have instead of exploring any further. First Give me the first responder handbook. How are we doing charge-wise? Almost there. Let's just read for a little bit longer here. You hear whir, and we hear things dying downstairs. I'm not sure. I don't I don't really hear the gunshots, so I'm not sure what's killing them. 4%. Man, we're learning really slow despite having 77 focus. Um, at this point, this should be charged. Yeah, I'm not going to spend all day reading. That's a little bit too slow and boring for me turn off the engine um, this is something you would want to do for sure if you were doing this casually you really really want to raise your first oh, maybe we should ah freaking dang it uh, let's eat something to be in a good mood joy plus eight uh, joy plus 20 from Xanax I don't believe in recreational drug taking but we'll go ahead and do that eat some pumpkin as well Minus one joy from pumpkin, but pumpkin is delicious. I mean, it's not delicious. It's basically mush, but you know, still though. Uh, let's, uh, we're just going to spend some time reading. I know it's not fun to watch, I imagine. Uh, is the engine off here? It is off. Okay. And we'll just pop out here and we'll read. Yeah, it's important. If I were doing this casually, I definitely would have raised my first aid by now, specifically because of the... Okay, stop. I didn't bring the MP3 player, did I? I did. Activate the MP3 player. I didn't bring booze, though, did I? Beer? No, that's... Oops. Uh, ale? I didn't bring any liquor with me, huh? Liquor's a good way to raise your mood in the game. I mean, I could take some oxycodone as well, because I already took Xanax. Took Xanax some time ago, and you're still under the influence. Man, my throat is just giving out on me today. I've only recorded like two episodes. So we're just going to continue trying to raise our skill. Yeah, because the first aid skill is so... It has such a big impact on whether or not you get CBMs. And we're kind of at that stage of the game where I want to start collecting CBMs so that we can start installing CBMs. Because CBMs bring a huge, huge amount of utility and functionality to your character. And a lot of them will save you like inventory space and stuff like that. It's just so good. Um, many of them are better than items you would find. So for instance, uh, if we found the surgical scalpel CBM, we currently have a scalpel in our inventory that we're using for dissecting. But the single best item in the game for the purposes of dissection is the surgical scalpel CBM. So not only would it remove our need to carry a scalpel with us, but it's actually functionally even better than the item we currently have. 
There are uh, there the internal the tool set CBM is one that people often use. It can basically replace us carrying a toolbox for a lot of a lot of things. So that frees up space in our inventory. Um, there's all kinds of CBMs that have a, just a huge amount of functionality that's super valuable. My God, this is taking a long time. Let's try boosting our mood again because we're down to like no positivity. Music is giving us a plus 20. We're no longer under the effects of Xanax. I don't want to take more Xanax and become addicted. So I'll take some Oxy instead. Classic abusing drugs. Oh, we did bring liquor. Hello. Hello, alcohol. Uh, so we'll take a swig of alcohol because it's always good to take booze with your pills. Uh, and we will eat some more wheat cereal. Anything else? Tramadol. I don't know what that is. Off the top of my head. Sounds like... Tramadol sounds like um, like anti-nausea med, like something you would take before you fly. I don't know if that's correct or not. Actually, I don't know medications from one another at all. I was just talking to my therapist today about um, we had a phone appointment and we talked about um, well about my brother, and that led to a discussion about abusing medications and uh, taking drugs in general. And because I had just heard about someone in a podcast who used to take Thorazine recreationally. And Thorazine, if you don't know, Thorazine is like, I believe, primarily used for schizophrenics. Uh, and it basically zombifies you. That's like its main characteristic is that it completely, it's like a, a pill lobotomy is how it's often described. And I had heard about someone who was taking it recreationally. And I just blew my mind that people would take a drug that essentially completely takes you out of existence. Like you don't, a lot of times you don't remember what happened when you were on Thorazine. You don't uh, really know where you are or what is going on. And it's just mind blowing to me that people care so much about getting high that they're willing to zombify themselves. What we should have done here, turn on the flashlight. What we should have done is install the light back here. So we're going to do that now. Go ahead and grab an open-ish tile. So here's a trunk with nothing really on it. We're gonna install an aisle light. An aisle light requires a flashlight to install. We do have multiple flashlights, so we'll go ahead and do that. And now we can toggle, if I turn off my flashlight, we can toggle, oh, shift's not working again, the aisle light, which will illuminate this area. And since we have everything closed off, there's no light permeating the vehicle it's just on the interior so no zombies are going to see this and come over here but now we have something to read by we'll go up to level four this is taken way way longer than i expected it to so we'll just get to level four and then we'll go back to, s to searching the lab although we probably should just call the episode um yeah i just can't i just don't understand the concept of recreational drug use it's not that I'm snobby or straight edge or whatever you want to call it. It's not, I'm not opposed to, to drugs like weed anyway. Um, but I just don't understand people's obsession with anything that can get you high. Like the whole, the nutmeg challenge was the thing that was happening over the last like couple months. And to me, I just look at that and I'm like, that might be the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Um, but then there are like teenagers all around the world who are like, I'm going to get high on nutmeg. And I just don't get it. I don't get it, internet. Um, I know life can be bad, but I don't really get the uh, mindset of trying so desperately to just not do any. I just don't get, I don't get drug use. Uh, I don't get alcohol abuse. I just don't, I don't understand it. Anyway, let's just call the episode. My throat's really bothering me. I'm really disappointed we didn't get very much done today. Um, but that's not your problem. That's my problem. Anyway, uh, so for now, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back with more Cataclysm tutorial content in the near future, and I'll see you next time.